The Central Intelligence Agency undergoing the greatest transformation in its 70-year history. Director John Brennan trying to transform the spy service into an operation that does more than fight terror, but can combat an array of 21st century threats. Reuters National Security Investigations editor David Rode interviewed Brennan about the future of the CIA. The CIA in the last 15 years since the 2001 attacks has really become a paramilitary organization. They're using traditional intelligence methods to find terrorists, and the difference is they're, they're then using lethal effects. That's intelligence jargon for killing them. And what Brennan is trying to do is to change the CIA from this paramilitary organization into more of a, an intelligence operation for the digital age. There's new digital threats emerging from Russia and China and other countries that the CIA has to respond to if they don't it'll end up obsolete. President Barack Obama appointed Brennan director in 2013. The position has no term limit and he will serve at the next president's discretion. Brennan's reforms include creating a new directorate of digital innovation that runs cyber espionage. He's created 10 mission centers where spies, analysts and hackers work in teams to track threats, enemies and plots around the globe. These are the most sweeping reforms in the 70-year history of the CIA. There's a lot of pushback from traditional spies, it's called the Directorate of Covert Operations, that they are getting shortchanged, that there's too much of an American focus on technology and we don't have enough good classic human sources. But Brennan is pushing ahead. The consensus among intelligence services that Russian spies have hacked American political parties in an effort to influence the U.S. election, appearing to bolster Brennan's case. The biggest immediate threat is Russia. And what we're in is this sort of new era of information war, where you steal secrets, you steal emails, and then you make them public. Brennan telling Reuters, quote, I think the CIA really needs to up its game.